got our body scrub. Hey friends, my name is Lindsay Wallace, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking you guys along on my monthly reset routine. It's the month of September, and it's the first week, or it's the first weekend of September. What's up, Cora? What's up, Cora? I wanted to go ahead and clean out the house. Not clean out, but you know, clean up the house. Also, do a little bit of self-care and stuff too, along with some other things like organization things, planning. You know, I set up my calendars and things like that. All of those things we're gonna get into in this video, they're things that help me feel more relaxed throughout the month as far as like my anxiety and stuff because when the house is clean and when my calendars are good to go I do feel a lot more capable and a lot more stable personality wise and whatnot we're gonna go ahead and get into that actually I'm kind of hungry so we're probably gonna go ahead and make breakfast not probably we're gonna go make breakfast first so come on Koya did you say hi to the people did you say hi to my friends look say hi to our friends say to you say hi can you say pop I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. All right, y'all. So my breakfast is ready, and I made sort of like one of those scrambles kind of thing. I basically cut up some onions and some peppers and some potatoes, and then I let the potatoes soak so that they would, you know, clean off. I dried the potatoes. I seasoned those, and then I put those in the air fryer to cook for a little bit. I put the onions and peppers in a separate pan and I cooked that for a little bit. And then I took the sausage. I crumbled that up into the pan and sauteed that a little bit. I grabbed the potatoes when they were about halfway cooked and threw that also into the pan. And then I sauteed that a little bit. I also added some Worcestershire sauce and I added a little bit of extra maple syrup because the sausage is maple sausage and I just figured like, I don't know, I wanted a little bit of extra so I added some more. I put the four egg scramble that we made earlier that we seasoned and I put that also into the pot and I cooked that on high heat real good and I scrambled it up and this is what I got from that and I'm eating that with a side of green grapes. Yeah, I'm watching the originals while I eat while re-watching it. I told you guys that before but I'm a big fan of the Vampire Diaries and the originals but originals is where my heart is at. You don't care about me. You're wrong. We're gonna go ahead and start cleaning. I've already given Craig his list of chores, which I mean, it's not a long list. Craig is basically cleaning the front of the house and I'm cleaning the back side of the house. So we're gonna go ahead and start on my room. I do also like to watch TV while I clean. So put that on right now. <laughs> okay.
we finished cleaning finally well okay okay we're not done cleaning just yet but Craig he finished you know sweeping and cleaning up the front of the house I finished vacuuming sweeping and cleaning up the back of the house and now I have my fabuloso it's right here boiling we still gotta mop the floors and finish the laundry besides that the cleaning part of today is done right let me think yeah and it's crazy how like I've been keeping up for the most part with the cleaning and then also Craig is home which makes it a lot easier with keeping up with the cleaning because Craig is a lot he's definitely a cleaner person than I am I tend to be like I'm not dirty but I'm messy I'm definitely messy but like I can let things get dirty though because I'm also a little bit lazy so having Craig home does like make all of that a lot easier keeping up with the house but anyway the point of me bringing that up is that what's crazy is that the more you keep up with the house like cleaning it and stuff when cleaning days come it's not as much work which I mean I guess goes without saying but damn <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and finish well not finish with the laundry but you know continue with it right now I just gotta switch things over into the dryer and put more stuff into the washer because I need to wash all of the rugs and the mats for the bathrooms and then also the sheets for my bed that's also getting washed so the, the house is clean but things still need to be washed and put back to where they go I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to wash the dogs this weekend it's 2 30 right now i don't think i'm gonna wash the dogs this weekend now I'm, I'm gonna do it another day incense for a while and I use them to reset like the smell in the house I also I've told you guys before that I use Fabuloso too but incense are really great because they're super strong another thing I also like to use are those little wallflowers and candles but I don't have any candles or extra wallflowers right now the smell I'm going with today and throughout the house is going to be lavender. I brought these little lavender incense. I have some other ones too. I have strawberry, spiritual, sage, and citrus. I'm on my second pack now of the lavender. Lavender is just my favorite. I love that smell. I just like how calming it is. When I put it on, it also keeps my dogs really calm too. But you know, lavender, I mean, it's known for making people and I guess things and animals calm. Earlier, I took out some chicken that I thought I wanted for dinner, but I think I'm gonna make it tomorrow because my initial plan was that I was gonna make some cilantro lime chicken and I just, I just don't want it. The moral of the story. Hello, why am I so dark? There we go. I'm gonna make salmon instead. Here goes our salmon. Do, do, do. Very exciting. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna make instead. Put that in the sink to defrost. I finished mopping the floors and I'm gonna go to the grocery store real quick up the street and I'm gonna buy a couple of things and I'll be right back. I am back in from the grocery store and I just wanted to give you a little haul since I didn't take you with me. I got some burger meat because I want to make hamburgers. I got some sausages that I plan on using for breakfast. I've got some buns for the burgers, four cans of tuna because Craig loves tuna. Like literally he'll eat it just like this with nothing in it. No mayonnaise, nothing. He'll eat this. Yep. I got some eggs because we finished our first case of eggs which means the other one's gonna go just as quick we eat eggs a lot <laughs> and then I got some more potatoes because we also basically went through our other bag of potatoes I got one more bag of chips because we finished one of our or we finished both of our bags of chips actually and then I got two things of mixed frozen berries for our fruit bowls and Craig he likes smoothies but you know for that some coconut flakes that I've been talking about I got some sharp cheddar like the sliced kind for the burgers and then some shredded kind for also the burgers but for our eggs and stuff i got some granola some actual freaking granola and then i got some chopped walnut some pop secret movie theater popcorn and then bananas also we got some gum just because i don't know i mean we'd like to why am i going to explain why we bought gum because we like to chew gum that's why i'm going to go ahead and put away these groceries and then i'm probably going to start making lunch which is going to be burgers it's 4 14 in the afternoon and I, it's kind of late for lunch like a very late lunch 
lunch but we're probably gonna end up staying up late tonight because we did stay up late yesterday yesterday we stayed up till about midnight well Craig probably stayed up way later than that but I stayed up till about midnight and if you guys don't know I usually go to bed around 9 sometimes 8 30 it kind of just depends on the day I'm a little bit of a grandma but yeah I do go to bed normally super early so we did stay up late last night we'll probably stay up late tonight so that'll give us enough time to eat like you know our three meals so we're gonna eat burgers now and then salmon later since we bought a whole nother hand of bananas i'm gonna go ahead and peel these and freeze them for our smoothie bowls later well my smoothie bowls since craig doesn't like them but yeah yeah As you see, I've got my food and I'm super ready to eat. Super ready to eat, I'm so ready to eat. I'm still re-watching the originals on Netflix. For the first, perhaps it was the way it sounded on Elijah's lips. I finished eating. I'm actually FaceTiming with Elijah right now. He wanted to say hi. Say hi. Say it with your mouth. Hi, uh, yeah. Anyway, love you, bye. I am done editing. Well, I'm not done editing, but I'm done for now. My MacBook was dying or whatever it said it was dying, so I plugged it in and it's charging now, but my goal as far as the editing process goes today is that I want to finish today's portion today. Like, not like all the nice little editing stuff, but like the rough cut. I want to finish today, so that way tomorrow all I have to worry about is, you know, tomorrow's portion. Because tomorrow, I don't plan on filming all day, so... It's gonna be like a good amount of footage, but it's not gonna be like a full day's worth of footage. Like so far it was three hours for worth of footage today, but I got it down to like an hour or so. I also folded our first load of clothes and then, you know, switched out the rest. And now I'm just gonna get into some of my organization stuff, which basically is like my calendar. I don't really have like a whole lot. I'm still learning and getting into the organization thing because I would like to plan out my life a little bit better just to feel better because from what I hear, planning out your life and being organized that it can help with anxiety or whatever because you're more in control of your life it makes everything a little bit more predictable i guess or easier it's something i would like to get into but using a calendar is something i've always done i just like it because it's a visual representation of what i need to do every single day and it makes it easier for me because i'm i'm mostly a visual learner if it's written i can read it and mostly understand i might still need like pictures here and there but for the most part not nah, i'm a visual learner for sure <laughs> So we've got both of our calendars fixed and ready to go. And now another load of clothes is done. <laughs> what does it have to be so quick? Mm -hmm. 
I put the rugs in the bathroom and like I said, we've got our calendars officially organized. I am going to clock out for the rest of the day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, love you. Hey friends and good morning. I'm getting ready to get into the self-care portion of our video, but we do have to make a couple of things before we can do that, starting with our body scrub. I don't have enough money right now to go and buy a body scrub, but they're not hard to make. They're actually pretty easy to make, so we're gonna go ahead and make one right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is add some sugar. I don't know how much, well, it's at least two tablespoons, but I'm using this for my whole body, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. I have some lavender essential oil that I'm also going to add just for like the smell. Okay, that's probably good. And then we gotta heat up this coconut oil. It's not a lot left though. Mmm, I need some coconut oil for my hair. Um, we'll just do olive oil. Okay, let me heat this up. Ooh, definitely too much liquid. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar though. But I'm gonna use a different spoon because I don't wanna stick the same dirty spoon back into the bag. It's like weird vibes. Okay, so as you saw, I put like a lot of sugar in there, but I decided I was gonna make enough to last me a while because I do usually like to exfoliate more often. I just haven't, because I haven't had enough money to buy the tea tree hut thing, like priorities. But yeah, so I decided to just make a lot, but it looks like the same thing. I mean, the same thing for at home prices. <laughs> I have some cocoa butter oil. I'm gonna put that in here because I did add probably too much sugar. So just to offset the dryness. I saw that somebody used it, you use it? Oh my God, how old am I? <laughs> I saw that somebody used food coloring in their body scrub to like change the color. So I'm gonna try to make mine purple for lavender. So to do that, I've got pink and I've got blue. And when you mix them together, what do you get? Purple, purple. That should have been your guess, purple. Oh, actually that kind of looks purple on its own. I think this is purple. Oh, this is purple. This isn't pink. Okay, so we don't need the blue then. Oh, shit. Damn it. So I was gonna stop here with the lavender, but I decided to add a little bit of vanilla also. Lavender vanilla is one of my favorite scents, so I really hope this comes out how I want it to. Might have to add a little bit more sugar to this. Oh, so good. We're definitely gonna have to add some more sugar though. All right, so we've got our body scrub. We're gonna make our face mask also real quick. So for the face mask, we're gonna have to blend up some oatmeal so that it's like really fine powder. This is another one of those moments where I wish I had rolled oats, but I don't. I have steel cut oats. Okay, we've got our oatmeal powder. Got another jar. So we're gonna put some cocoa powder, powder in here. Put some honey. And some yogurt. Stir that all together. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a drop of water to this. Okay, so here goes our face mask. Ooh, and it's grainy, so it'll probably exfoliate our skin a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna airtight this also. But I'm gonna put this in the fridge because of the yogurt. And actually, maybe I should put the yogurt back also. Okay, so now for our hot oil treatment. You're gonna set the heat to like medium low. I've got some avocado oil that I'm gonna throw in here. Not too much because this shit is expensive. Got a drop of olive oil in here. Literally a drop. <laughs> I have another thing of olive oil. And that's gonna be our base. And then I have this aloe vera gel that I bought for when I wax my mustache. But I guess I should stir it. I'm gonna turn that off. 
And I'm gonna put on this back burner because a little burner is smaller. I basically want the aloe leaves to become a little see-through. That way I know that the gel is gonna start coming out of them. I do kind of pop them a little bit also to help with that process. I'm also adding some of my five essential oils into here. Not too much, it's probably good. That shit is expensive, I don't wanna waste it. Now we're gonna grab some lavender essential oils. And I don't know if I said it and if I already put it in, but we're gonna put in some tea tree oil also. Okay, so now we're just gonna let this sit for an hour so that the aloe can infuse in with the oil. Which means that I will check back in with you guys in like an hour. All right, friends, so still haven't started my self-care stuff. I figured that the first thing I needed to do as far as self-care is eat because myself needs to eat and I think that's caring. I've got little potatoes, the usual, some scrambled eggs, and then I got some sausages. These are like Italian sausages, but the original ones. And then I just cut them in half and I fried them. I boiled them first because I didn't want them to fall apart. But yeah, anyway, I fried them. And then I have my usual smoothie bowl, but I did add some walnuts, actual granola, and some coconut flakes. So there's that. And then Craig's got his food over there. And yeah, I'm just gonna start eating. Oh, and we're watching the new Money Heist. Ooh, baby, 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 yeah. I just finished shampooing my hair. I use baking soda and apple cider vinegar to help give my hair an extra clean to really declog the pores in my hair and to really strip my hair from any extra things that I might have put in it and that didn't come off throughout the month. And now I'm just getting ready to put in my hot oil treatment. You eat. I've got the oil treatment all throughout my hair. And then I've got these little plastic caps. Here is my heat cap. Put that on also. And I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna brush the teeth. I don't have any of those teeth whitening strips. I used to use the Crest, I think it's Crest or is it Colgate? I forgot, it's one of them, but I used to use their brand Sensitive Teeth white Whitening Strips. They're kind of expensive. And not that I wouldn't buy them again, I definitely would and highly recommend, but I just can't buy them right now. Instead, I have some baking soda that I'm putting on my toothbrush, on my toothpaste. Brush my teeth with that. Ooh, Craig has this whitening mouthwash. I'll try anything once. It's charcoal. It's Hello Activated Charcoal Extra Freshening Mouthwash Natu Natural Fresh Mint with Coconut Oil. Ah, uh, the toothpaste is spicy. <sighs> mm, I guess they look whiter. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit in my hair and I will be back in 20 minutes. All right, y'all, so it's been 30 minutes now and I'm gonna go ahead and take off my heat cap and the little plastic cap. And I'm gonna save it because we still have to do our deep conditioner. Before I get back into the shower, and speaking of deep conditioner, I like my hair to be black, like jet black. I have to kind of touch it up a little bit, but I don't want to use a permanent hair dye. So instead, I'm going to mix together two of my deep conditioners. I'm mixing the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Intense, what? Strength and Restore Treatment Mask is what I meant to say. And then the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. So I'm gonna mix those two together and then I'm gonna add the semi-permanent hair dye and mix that into it also. We've got our deep conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into that shower. I 
I've got my deep conditioner and my semi-permanent in my hair. Sorry, I was putting something back. But now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I was gonna wash my face with just my Cetaphil Daily Face Wash, but I decided to go in with my Hydro Boost because I need to exfoliate, and this is the exfoliating cleanser. Oh, and also don't mind my nails, they're black right now. They'll either get clean throughout the process or just get cut off later. Okay, so this is the chocolate face mask that we made earlier. So it glides on really smooth and actually pretty thick and I like that and I could immediately feel it hydrating my skin. Normally my skin is really dry especially after washing. You could see on my nose how shiny it is and that shiny is my dry. <laughs> And as soon as I put this on, because when my skin is dry, it feels tight. And as soon as I put this on, it alleviates that feeling immediately. It feels almost like putting water on my skin. Yo, it's been such a long time since I've done a face mask like this. I used to do this literally every Sunday, religiously. Every Sunday I would go through and everything I'm doing right now, I would do it every single week back when I was in the military and then also a little bit after too once we moved here and almost honestly like while I was in Virginia at some point some of my routine fell out some no just a little bit I kind of miss doing this so maybe we'll make this a regular thing on my channel our lavender and vanilla body scrub sugar body scrub whatever and I'm gonna use it to exfoliate my lips I have this lip mask. It's the, ooh, it's Tarte. It's a Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask. I like Tarte. Well, I like their concealer, the Shape Tape. I don't think I've actually tried anything else from Tarte, but I know that I really love the Shape Tape. I love the Shape Tape. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, like probably a year ago. I don't get Ipsy bags anymore, but I used to get them. And this was just one of the things I got and I never used. So I figured what a, a better opportunity than now. It's really thick. It's like like a really thick lip gloss. Like think Vaseline, but like thicker. Okay, is there anything else we gotta put on? I'm gonna go with the hard nail. Since you was forgotten, I remember the day that father yeah. caught you whittling little chest pieces yeah. with his hunting knife. I am out of the shower and I am moisturized. I've already rinsed out the deep conditioner for my hair. I put conditioner, I rinsed that out too. I use the Dove soap. I believe it's an intensive hydration one. I use the bar soap to wash my body. I use the Honey Pot Sensitive, the sensitive formula for cleaning my private area. And obviously I rinsed off my face mask. Currently I don't have anything on my face. I forgot to heat up the hard wax. So I'm heating that up now, but for me to wax my face, I have to have nothing on my face for it to be like clean but with nothing on it so that's the state that it's in now and as you guys know I have dry skin so like my skin is very tight right now but it'll be okay it'll be okay it's not for very much longer I'm getting ready to clip my toenails because they're long and the nail polish is like almost off like grown off <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut my nails and then buff off what's left of the polish We 
are officially in the waxing portion of this video. I have this post wax oil, or not the post wax, pre wax oil. And this right here, it actually came with my waxer and I'm just wiping down all the places I'm gonna wax. two face masks and I'm gonna go with this hibiscus and acai berry bubble tea the face mask that I used earlier was a mud mask and I always use that before because you know you got to wash it off but the nice thing with face masks is that face masks are like serums and a lot of the times are serums so you don't actually wash them off you just rub them into the skin so I'm gonna let this sit for 20 to 30 minutes and I will be back. Alrighty y'all, I did style my hair off camera. If you're interested in how it is that I style my hair, then just go ahead and check out my curly hair routine. Check them out, I'll have them linked up here and then added to the end of this video. But I am grabbing the rest of the serum and stuff from this pack. And I'm just gonna rub that onto my face also. And then I have this After Mask Vitamin Serum. It's pH balancing, extra smoothing, anti-aging, feeding, protecting, nourishing. And I also got this from my Nipsey box. Nipsey, like as in hustle? No, my Ipsy box. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of aloe on my face just for any irritation from waxing and from tweezing my eyebrows. The scent that I'm wearing today is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. I have officially finished with the self-care portion of this video and I'm actually kind of hungry, famished, starving. And I'm gonna go to the kitchen and make something to eat and I will catch up with you guys when my hair is dry. So, see you then. It's Monday, it's Labor Day, it's five in the evening and you haven't seen the video yet because I'm still editing it. That's why we're talking right now. <laughs> what had happened was I overestimated the amount of time I had compared to the amount of effort I wanted to put into the video. Like I didn't want to just put out like whatever. It's taking me a little bit longer, but I did finish my self-care routine like I said and my hair, this is what it's looking like. It's getting really long how long it's getting I've decided that I'm gonna let it grow out I don't know how long when I was younger my hair used to be to like my middle back I mean if it grows that long it grows that long I might get a haircut I don't get like anything crazy I get a diva cut NT way if you have made it here to the end of this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification to always stay in the know and up to date on all my videos when I post them, as soon as I post them. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Let me know how you're doing and how your day has been. And whatever time that you watch this video, I hope that it meets you well. And I hope that the rest of your day is absolutely amazing because you absolutely deserve it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Bye.